These are wireless thermometers. And they're a thing of beauty because you do not have to worry about wires getting in the way of your cooking experience. In this video, we're gonna look at two competing companies, the meat stick versus the meter. And I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of each, hopefully helping you decide on which unit better suits your needs and is a better value. Let's dive in. We're gonna start off by looking at the packaging provided by each company. And we'll start with the meter products. The first one up is the meter block. As you can see here, it's packaged really, really well, and the meter block is very aesthetically pleasing. You get four probes, the back battery compartment is magnetized, it reveals four AA batteries, and it's all put together very nicely. With the meter plus, you get the same packaging. When you open up the box, you get the unit, you get one probe, and the back battery compartment is also magnetized, very similarly to the block. And the probe is made out of very high quality materials. And I like the way that it looks and it feels in the hand. For this review, I'm gonna compare the Meter Plus with the meat stick package that I got. The meat stick's gonna come with two units, but we'll get to that in a second. You do get this nice soft case, but be careful when you're opening it because you don't really know which side's which. And you're gonna find an antenna and a USB power cable that's gonna be used for the bridge. In the pouch, you're also gonna find a thank you card and the user manual. And now moving on to the main components. You're gonna get their top of the line model that's very comparable to the Meter Plus, the Meat Stick. And they also included the Mini X, which is basically a mini probe. And it can only monitor internal temperatures, but we'll get to that in a second. They've also included the bridge unit. This is basically a Wi-Fi extender that helps increase the range of the system, making it possible to monitor anything anywhere. So let's take a look at the Meter Plus versus the Meat Stick. The Meat Stick's probe is also made of high quality. I can feel the quality of the materials in my hand. Now the Meat Stick is slightly larger, especially at the base of the unit, and both probes can monitor internal and ambient temperatures. And both units do have notches indicating how far you need to insert each probe. Now when comparing the Mini probe to the Meter Plus, you can see a considerable size difference, but it's important to note that the Mini does not monitor ambient temperatures. It only monitors internal temperatures. Okay, let's get the meter out of frame for just a moment. I wanna compare the Meat Stick products. When you compare the Mini X versus the Meat Stick, really there's not much difference between the probes. The only difference that you're looking at is the size because of the internal and ambient temperatures. And now let's look at the bridge unit. And I feel like there's a lot left to be desired. You do get a stand and an antenna, but I feel like the unit's very plasticky and the build quality is kind of on the cheap side with very little functionality. The really annoying thing is the unit has to be plugged in at all times. There is no internal battery. And actually none of the units have an internal rechargeable battery. Both the Mini X and the Meat Stick require two AA batteries in order to work and function and both companies missed out on this opportunity. It's 2022, I feel like we should have internal rechargeable batteries. Okay, let's bring back the Meter Plus. The Meter Plus's battery compartment is held together by magnets and the unit works on one AAA battery. Again, another missed opportunity, but I do prefer the design of the battery compartment on the Meter Plus. Aesthetically, both units look great, but it does depend on user preference. Now let's take a look at the apps and how to pair the probes. First up is the meat stick, which does a great job of guiding you through the entire process and includes a first time setup video, which I highly recommend you watch. Pairing the probe was actually really easy, but you do have to provide your email address and allow push notifications for certain features. Another weird thing is you do have to always have your location on, which can be kind of offsetting for some users. Once you've done that, you pick your particular probe, remove the probe from the charger, and you start pairing. 
The app in itself is kind of glitchy though. When I did try to advance to the next screen, I had to tap the next button several times before it actually advanced through. And I don't know if this was intentional or not, if it was trying to get you to read the information that was on the screen, but it felt really buggy and glitchy and it was kind of frustrating. The units themselves offer a lot of different options. You can choose to grill, smoke, air fry, deep fry, or even sous vide, which means that the probes are really versatile. And the app does offer a really good user interface and a very good user experience. Almost everything is customizable and you do have features that make your life a lot simpler, like having a slide bar, presets for USDA safe temperatures, depending on the meat that you're cooking. What's really impressive is you can actually set your target internal and ambient temperatures and the system will notify you when you've reached those targets. Setting up the wireless bridge was just as simple. I had to plug in the unit of course, but once you do, the app identifies it right away. I did have to do a quick firmware update, but that was basically it. It was ready to go. Setting up the meter plus is just as easy and you get lots of guidance, but for the sake of time, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. What is interesting though, is I could not get my meter plus to actually connect to the app. To be fair, I did purposely discharge both of the units because I wanted to test how reliable each system was when it was only partially charged. When I did charge the meter plus for an additional 30 minutes, it didn't have any more problems connecting, but I did want to point that out because it does seem like the meter plus does need a bit more time to fully function than the meat stick. I actually do prefer the app on the meter plus. I feel like it's a bit brighter, a little bit easier to navigate and everything that you need is right there. I feel like with the meat stick, you kind of need to dig around a bit and especially on the front page where you want to see your internal temperatures and your ambient temperatures, the meter just feels a little bit cleaner, but they do have a leg up on the competition because they've been around a little bit longer. So there's room for improvement on both units and I do think it's user preference. The meat stick does give you a lot of real-time user data, but it also kind of clutters up the screen. What's nice about the meat stick app is it's entirely customizable. So you may like that and you may prefer that feature. I didn't lose a signal from either of the products, but I did hook up the meat stick to the Wi-Fi bridge and it was a fantastic experience. I literally had unlimited range. Both products are going to give you amazing results. The next day I wanted to have a little bit more fun with the unit, so I cooked up a rack of lamb. This time I made sure that both units were fully charged and I was not gonna use the Wi-Fi bridge on the meat stick. I wanted to do a direct comparison and really test out the accuracy, the range, and the connectivity. I made sure to insert each probe to the indicated mark, leaving enough room for signal strength. And then I placed each probe an equal distance away from the heat source. The results between the Meter Plus, the Meat Steak, and the Mini X were pretty comparable with very little variance. And I definitely feel like the internal temperatures and the available ambient temperatures were very accurate and reliable.
And while the rack of lamb was resting, I decided to do a very simple range and connectivity test. I literally just started walking back with line of sight to the probes until I lost connection. You can see here that I got pretty far, but the Meter Plus lost connectivity, even though there was a direct line of sight with the probes outside of the barbecue. The meat stick never lost connectivity. I was able to walk all over my garden without being directly in the line of sight of the probes and with several obstacles in the way, and I never lost the connection even without the Wi-Fi bridge. I have to give the range and connectivity test to the meat stick. There's definitely a big difference. And now for the ultimate test, let's cut into the rack of lamb and see the results. We were shooting for medium rare, and as you can see here, it's a bit more cooked than I would like it to be, but I think there's several reasons for that. I was filming, so I probably didn't get it off the heat as fast as I should have, and two, while doing the range test, it probably sat and rested for a little longer than it should have. But the important thing is, all three probes delivered consistent and equal results. Okay, let's go over my final thoughts. I think both products are really good and it really comes down to personal preference. There's a few things that I really like about the Meter products or the Meter Plus and a couple things that I don't. And likewise with the Meat Stick, I think they did some things really, really well and a couple things that I don't really prefer. So they both have pros and cons and that's what I wanna talk about right now. So let's start with the meter, the meter products, the meter plus, the meter block, and so forth. They're all kind of the same as far as performance goes and aesthetics. I personally really, really like the aesthetics of the meter block or the meter plus, the meter products. I really like the wood design and just in general how the app functions. I think the app is fantastic. It's really easy to navigate and it just looks aesthetically pleasing. It sits there on your countertop or on your barbecue. In my opinion, I gravitate more towards that wood look. I think it looks clean and it kind of just pops out at you. But that's really personal preference because with the meat stick, I asked a couple of friends of mine, hey, which one did they prefer? And a few of them said that they thought the meat stick looked really retro, really cool, had kind of more of a modern look to it. Now, when it comes to the app, the user interface, again, personal preference, I prefer the meter app. I think it's cleaner. Everything you need is right there on the screen for you. You don't have to go hunting for anything. For example, the ambient temperature is this little number right below the main temperature. And I feel like with the meter, it's just all there. It's laid out for you. You can see it, you can navigate it, and you can get right to work. And I like the color scheme. I feel like it's not dark, it's easy to read, and I just can find what I want. And also, as you guys saw in the video, I was doing a rack of lamb roast on the barbecue, and the meter had rack of lamb as one of their presets, but unfortunately the meat stick didn't. However, the meat stick, I feel like they put more money into their probe. The probe feels beefy. And we saw with the range test that the meat stick outperformed the meter. Again, I asked some friends and family, what do they think about the apps? And it was 50-50. A lot of them really like the meter. A lot of them really like the meat stick. So it's really preference. But I do like that they have all of these tutorials and tips and tricks and they're all like video, right? It's really high quality video to really guide you on how to properly use the meat stick. I think the meter had something similar, not as well done as the meat stick, but something similar. And I think I disabled it once I got familiar with how to use the probe. So that's really cool. I think there's actually a big difference in performance. Not a huge difference, but big enough to kind of sway you one direction or the other. Now, if we're talking about accuracy, I feel like all the probes are accurate. 
the meter, the meat stick, the meat stick X, the mini meat stick, all of them. They're all really accurate. But when it comes down to connectivity and range, I saw a big difference. As you guys saw in the video, originally the meter had problems connecting. I really wanted to test out a scenario where your probes aren't fully charged, but they're charged enough and to see if that kind of, you know, messed up reliability or range in any way. We saw with the meat stick, it did not. And with the meter, it did. It had a hard time connecting, even though everything was right there next to the barbecue grill. After letting it charge for another half an hour, it finally connected and it worked okay. The range on the meter is actually advertised at 165 feet. With the meat stick, you get way more. You get 260 feet. And you saw it, I mean, it's true, it's accurate. With the meat stick, I was walking around the garden and still connected with the meter. I lost connection. With the meter, you're supposed to get 165 feet, but I don't always get that, and it's not always reliable. I mean, you really do have to get a good line of sight. As an added bonus, they give you the wireless transmitter, which is a booster, right? It's an extender, and that basically connects to your Wi-Fi, and that gives you even more <laughs> range. The only annoying thing is you have to have it plugged in the entire time. It's not battery operated. I guess that's something they can upgrade in the future, because it was kind of a bummer that I had to have it, you know, plugged in somewhere and I didn't have any outlets outside and they do recommend that you keep it as close to the probes as possible. So for range, for connectivity, the meat stick I think outperforms the meter. Now let's talk about the meter block. The meter block is supposed to be kind of something similar, right? It's supposed to have an extender in there and you're supposed to get better range, better connectivity. I don't get that much better connectivity with the block. It's the same kind of scenario. You have to have it plugged in the entire time and you gotta be really close to the grill kind of defies the purpose. I really think that both companies are revolutionary and I gotta applaud the meter. I think they were the first company to really do this truly wireless system with a fantastic app. So they really kind of pushed the boundaries and now you see other companies doing it. I think the meat stick is a really nice iteration of that. They really focused on the range and the connectivity and I think both companies have a really bright future and I'm excited to see the next upgrades that they come out with because I really feel like we're moving towards the right direction. So that's it for me guys. I hope this video was informative and I will catch you on the next one. Hey everybody. How'd you guys like that last video? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified on my next video. And if you can, please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Here's some more content that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Check them out. As always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.